My name is Stephen Lane and I'm a former NDPL library worker, a union member of AFSCME 3395. I'm currently an organizer with the Indianapolis Liberation Center, uh, the secretary for the Indiana Black Librarians Network, and a member of the Black Caucus of the American Library Association. I'm here tonight to present to this board the over 1,850 signatures uh, we have collected through the Liberation Center's petition from the communal community locally and nationally that stand with us in support of Nichelle Hayes as the next CEO of the NDPL. We have such significant people standing in support of Nichelle Hayes, and some of those people are 120 staff at NDPL, including uh, managers and supervisors, 29 <coughs> former staff, 148 outside library workers, two former board members, uh, signatures uh, 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 such as Tamika Ketchings, who was on the Indiana Fever as the owner of Tease Me Cafe, Alilia Bundles, the great-great-granddaughter of Madam C.J. Walker, the president-elect of the American Library Association, Emily Drabinsky, uh, Chicago professor uh, William Ayers, the reformer, uh, reforma president, even the past president, Kenny Garcia, who is also the National Association to pro Promote Library and Information Services to Latinos and the Spanish Speaking, foundation donors, numerous officers and members of the Black Caucus of the American Library Association, members of the Special Olympics, Indy Pride, Southern Poverty Law Group, Immigration Advocates Network, Go On Girl Book Club, Indianapolis Kwanzaa Committee, Indiana Youth Group, DJ Kyle Long with WFYI, and Arte Mexicano in Indiana. The board's decision to hire Morley fits right into the history of NDPL. When the Indianapolis Public Library was founded in 1873, the appointing bodies decided to hire Charles Evans from Boston, despite public outcry, to hire a local librarian. Evans was eventually fired from his job for a disagreement with the board, and NDPL did end up hiring a local librarian, Eliza, Eliza Browning, who was responsible for getting Carnegie to build the beautiful central library we have today. NDPL hired its first black librarian in 1922 as the system decided to build black branches in black neighborhoods to curb black pa patrons from going to white branches, at the time which included Central Library. Lillian Childress Hayden Hall was that first black librarian who started the Dunbar branch and later the Crispus Attucks branch. 100 years later, and we are close to having our first black woman CEO of NDPL. The board's pick to hire Gabriel Morley reminded me of a librarian from the 1930s known as Mabel Hunt, who on the surface seemed pro progressive, yet actively tried to get black children out of her branch, which was located on the north side of Indianapolis. She kept names and addresses of these children to submit to the library director to see if she can get them removed from the branch and a book station set up uh, at their schools when they can pick up where they can go and pick up and return their library books. Mabel Hunt also went on to publish a children's book about black children who grew up in rural South uh, America, just as this board tried to hire Morley, who wrote an offensive book involving a black teenager named Ray Ray. <laughs> This board has the chance to rectify the wrongs of history and change its course forever by doing what is right by this institution, the city, and library workers paying attention to this issue all over the country. The board members who made the decision to hire Morley over Hayes did so against the wishes of the community who want Hayes, and now those board members sit here isolated with no one standing in their corner to even vouch for their decision. This board cannot even explain to the community why they chose who they chose, nor will they explain after Morley declined the offer, why an offer has not been extended to Nichelle Hayes. Yep. Instead, they continue to double down on their stance by gaslighting the community into believing that Hayes somehow is not qualified to do this job. Yet, excuse me, Again, no one is backing the board. No one is in your corner. No one is here to stand up and fight with you except for that, that lady. Um, if, the public, <laughs> if the public library is truly the cornerstone of democracy, then let the board put that into practice by listening to their patrons. The community will not stop in our quest to create a more just and equitable public library system for all. And that begins when this board extends an offer to the People's Choice for NDPL CEO. And her name is who? Michelle Hayes.